Hi everyone, it's John here, also known as the Comic Fan Man. Um, I finally was able to get a vintage shell Castle Grayskull uh, from eBay for like 40 bucks. And I'm actually going to do a repaint on this with my two boys. And I just wanted you to see, I already started the repaint. Um, I got the drawbridge first. So that was where I started this project. And I think it came out really, really good. And I'm very excited to see the rest of this castle. I hope you are too. In case you're wondering how I did this wood grain on here, basically what I started with was a flat black and I covered the whole thing in a flat black. Then I went in with a medium brown and then I went in with a light brown over the highlights. Everything was dry brushed. And then once that was all done and dry, I went over the details with a gold rub and buff dry brush. And I'm very, very happy with the results. Take a closer look. You can see the wood grain highlight really came out very, very well. I have never done this technique before. This is super easy and it doesn't take no more than like five minutes. Even though it looks super intricate and detailed, anybody can really get this done in like five minutes. Here is the inside of the jawbridge. And basically what I did here was that I went over the base of the tongue with the same gray that's around the teeth. Once that dried, I did this portion in just a very, very light uh, brown, the same brown that I did on the wood. And then um, I also put a little bit of the brown on the teeth and then went over the teeth one more time with a gray, with a very, very light gray, just to make it stand out. I think it really, really worked out very well. Now, I don't know how well this is coming out on the video, but um, this is super, super dirty. There you see some of the little spider webs, cobwebs, and grime um, that has obviously built up over the years. Um, obviously, I'm not here to judge anybody or the previous owner. I'm sure they probably just had this in their garage somewhere, just collecting dust. So all of this is, as you can see, very discolored um, by the dirt and the grime. So we're going to have to give this a really good wash down first. Otherwise, the paint um, won't stick. Uh, we're not using anything um, super fancy as far as paint. We're actually just kind of using regular old paint you'll find either at like Walmart or Target or uh, any little arts and crafts stores. Um, nothing, nothing super expensive. This project is not needed uh, for that kind of um, pigments that uh, will cost you an arm and a leg. You can basically kind of get this done for maybe five or six bucks outside of the rough rub and buff that might be the most expensive piece of paint that you'll you'll need here um and that's really you know optional i don't think you'll really need to do that i just wanted to do it um uh just to set my my gold and silver pieces Basically what I'm using to clean this down, um, obviously you can just use soap and water if you want to. Um, I'm just gonna use a glass cleaner um, because it has ammonia and stuff and it'll just pretty much wipe out all the, uh, uh, the little bit of like oil that, that's caused by the, the grime that's stayed over time. Um, so the ammonia from the glass cleaner will, will definitely clean this up really well. Um, and it uh, just doesn't take as long, as long as using soap and water because you don't have to worry about the drying time. I am gonna try to save the sticker. Um, I am a custom picture framer, so I do have other things. So this is an unstick adhesive solvent, and I'm hoping that that will be able to work on this. If that works on this and I can save the sticker, that's gonna be a major plus. So this is working, um, it's just gonna take some time. This is probably gonna be the longest thing here um, because the glue is obviously very old and dry, um, but it is coming off, it is working. 
All right, so I was able to save the sticker for the most part. Um, there are some creases. Obviously, the paint is very brittle, uh, so it caused uh, creases in the stickers, but um, I can probably touch that up with a pen down the line uh, just to make it look uh, close to what it was. But i um, very thankful I was able to get this off without too much damage to it. So here are my two lovely assistants, um, Johnny and Jeremy, and uh, they're gonna help me clean this up now. Johnny spraying it down, the glass cleaner. And we're doing the inside first because it is the most grimy. All right, we're gonna start the wipe down now. As you can see, it, it really does take off the dirt and grime almost in one swipe, um, kind of bringing up the old color right away. Back is very clean now, looks great. Now it's time to attack the face of the castle. This side also very nice and clean, did really well. So now it's time to do the face of Castle Grayskull. Go. Here goes my wonderful helpers, getting it going, giving it the good scrub down, the wash that Castle Grayskull deserves. Okay, it is now prepped, ready, and clean. Ready for us to start our paint job. Now, I've seen in the other videos where uh, the customizer will actually just paint the whole thing either black or uh, gray. I'm actually not gonna do that um, simply because um, I do love the vintage color, the vintage look to this. Um, but what I am going to do is I am going to do dry brush technique uh, through all the stones. Um, I'm probably gonna do it either in a really, really dark brown uh, or uh, black. I'm gonna try both and see which one looks better. Uh, for the shingles and all this on the, the little wood paneling, um, I am going to actually detail all of that at the end. Uh, but for right now, I'm actually going to have the boys do the dry brush. I'm going to show them how I did it on the um, door and teach them how to keep the paint dry on the brush while they uh, pass it over and hopefully that should be enough. There is a lot of black on this one um, and a lot of gray and bright green tones. So I really want to work with all of those colors. I don't want to completely get rid of all of the paint that's on here. I actually just want to try to highlight everything that's already there and just add a new coat of paint uh, to make it a little more detailed. All right, so here are the paints that we're going to use. Um, literally like one dollar paints and uh, these are our, our little palettes where we're going to do the uh, dry brush on. That's really all the paint you need. All right so now I have my brush here, I have my paint. Basically I go into my paint, bring it down, until my brush and drag it out until my brush is kind of dry when you start seeing the paper that's dry and now I'm just gonna go over this 
And the reason I'm going over the brown first is because after the brown, then I'm gonna go over it with a very, very light gray. This is gonna do a lot to give it some dimensions and play with the, uh, the stoning that's, that's in this. All right, here goes my boys starting the dry brush technique to highlight all the stonework in Castle Grayskull. All right, so the first layer of dry brush has been put on. As you can see, it really did a nice job highlighting the stones. Now we're gonna go over it with the light gray and um, see how it looks from there because I think the light gray is really gonna make this really stone looking. Um, as I did it with the, uh, the inside with the, uh, the teeth and the tongue and the jaw bridge. But I, I think it's really nice because you don't lose any of the color, any of the original color of the castle, which makes me very, very happy. All right, here's the stone gray that I'm gonna use uh, for the highlights. So um, this should be very fun process and take a look there it's doing pretty well as to what I wanted to do it looks a little bright right now but I am going to pass the brush over it a few times that should help dull it down a little bit um, actually the light the way the light is hitting it makes it look like it's brighter but now that I'm looking at it with my with my regular eyes, um, it actually does look really, really good. So hopefully I can capture that once I'm done with this. So, as you can see, it's really kind of blending nicely, helping you pick up that stone look. Now I'm going to start going into the skull itself. Look at that. It still has the original color, it has the underneath color, and it has our new color, giving it a really, really great stone look. Here we are putting the finishing touches on the second side. Here's the first side, the skull. I think it came out pretty good. Um, we were able to really make the rocks you know, pop nicely. And I'm really happy that we didn't have to give up the base color. That's really what I wanted, just to bring up some, some of the extra details without having to give up the base color. Um, I know it does look a lot better when you put the primer on and start it from the from the uh, black base um, but I really really wanted to keep that that base color on there and uh, overall I'm, I'm fairly happy with this look even in this piece that had a lot of black to the base you see the stonework is really coming up nicely so we're very happy with this so once we're finished with this um, I will start going into the detail work um, I want to start painting the wood pieces all in there and uh, some of the wood, wood windowsill pieces over here along with the uh, shingles as well. That'll be the detail work at the end. All right, here we are. The stone work of the castle um, is done. I think it looks fantastic. I, again, I really love the fact that we still have the base color of Castle Grayskull in there um, and it just really really looks good so now it's time for the detail work time to get in to all these little wood pieces 
the shingles, the windowsill, wood pieces. This little thing here, uh, which if I remember correctly, I think that was uh, part of the hanging system when you had to hang somebody for a crime, <laughs> um, which is, I guess, a really dark take on He-Man. <laughs> don't know why that was left in there but uh, it's a cool little detail so I'm gonna work with it I'm gonna try to bring up all the details and uh, and then we're done all right here we are so uh, the stonework is now finished I now started to put a black wash over everything that's going to have the wood finish to it just so that it it has a lot of nice extra detail that comes up through the brown. Um, this is the same uh, black wash that I put on the door of the jawbridge before I put the two different colors of brown to make it really pop like wood. So hopefully I'll be able to get that same effect on these pieces. Okay, so as you can see, I'm putting the brown over the black. It's making it a nice rich wood brown for the base. Then once I'm done with that, I will put in the, the highlight brown, which will make it really pop and give it that wood grain, just like the door. And I'll be doing that for the rest of the wood pieces. All right, so there we go. Two coats of the, one coat of the black, two coats of the medium brown, and one dry brush of the light brown to give it that nice wood grain texture. Here's Johnny putting on the finishing dry brush on the shingles. Doing a very nice job. It's giving it a really nice three dimension. Okay, got this in. Give it a really nice look. So this will be the this will be the last one before we work on. And we're finished. Alright, so here we are putting the last dry brush on the final. Hood here, the last roof. And once we're done with this, the weathered look, the weathered wood look should be pretty much complete. Oh, that was a little too much. That's okay, just keep passing the brush over it. Spread it out. So this is the end result. Um, once again, I am very pleased with this look. I think it's true to the original Castle Grayskull. Uh, well, being able to keep a nice, real stone castle look. Really happy with the way the, the wood shingles, the weathering on all the wood came out. Came out really, really good. Very happy with this. Thank you.
thank you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you get a place like this, I hope this inspires you to do your own work on it. Have a great day, everyone.